Hi folks, uh, I just want to put together a really quick uh, video on my resupply boxes. Uh, this is going to be really, yeah, <laughs> pretty, um, pretty low tech um, because I'm not going to be doing any editing or anything like that on, that, on this, but uh, I just wanted to uh, run through and show you what I put into my resupply boxes for the Bibbleman track. I'm keen to sort of get this uh, all down, um, and this is I'm just taking this opportunity now while I'm putting uh, putting out my last couple of boxes or dropping off my last couple of boxes. I won't have a chance uh, after this. Um, so I want to go through, um, just give you a, a very quick overview of my strategy for resupply, uh, why I'm doing resupply. You, you probably don't really need to on the Bibbleman track. Uh, and also uh, just run through my um, one of my boxes that I'm just finishing off at the moment. That'll be for Pemberton, which is kind of a midway point. It's got a little bit more than I've got in some of my other boxes, but uh, I'll try and explain as I go through. I've sort of, not all the, the boxes are the same. Uh, I've got uh, some standard items that I put in most of the boxes. Um, and then I've kind of uh, tailored it a little bit. So um, uh, anyway, I'll I'll explain that as, as I go through. So I'm just uh, doing this from um, a really nice chalet in Pemberton that I've been upgraded to. That was really generous of the of the owners to do that. Um, uh, I yeah, way more than I need. Mass massive place, um, but it's fantastic because uh, I actually needed to do a bit of work on my tarp, uh, do a bit of ceiling and that on the. Uh, on the seams, so I actually had some space, some undercover space. It's it's raining at the moment to uh, lay everything out, and uh, yeah, it's great. And anyway, I'll um, run through my resupply box. So just just to sort of give you a bit of a overview uh, of uh, what I'm doing with the boxes. Make sure you got some light there. Uh, so I've got five resupply boxes in total. Um, although technically I suppose you could call it six because I do have the um, uh, what, I, what I'm going to start with in Albany. So I'm going south-north, so I'm going from Albany up to Perth. Um, now, that's I, I'm expecting it'll probably take me about seven weeks, or I'm hoping it will, unless, unless I have to um, you know, take a bit of time off on the way through uh, to recover or what, whatever. Um, but um, I'm expecting around about seven weeks. So it's not quite a box a week, um, but actually when you look at what's in the boxes, uh, they don't work out that way anyway, because um, for example, the last two boxes, that's between Dwelling Up and uh, Kalamunda, um, they're actually fairly comprehensive in that they have pretty much everything that I'm gonna need for that period, particularly the last box. The last box just has all of my food for the uh, last few days. Okay, and uh, there's a trail angel who's very kindly dropping that to me, and another trail angel who's looking after some of my personal gear um, back in um, back in um, Kalamundra. Uh, so um, I really appreciate that. And um, then the other boxes I've put into um, into uh, the different uh, visitor centres in the different towns. So so yeah, that last box has everything. Um, so it's just a pick up and go, but stepping back from that, the one at Dwelling Up has pretty much everything, but I will need to add a few things, you know, for um, my snacks and that during the day. Okay, so um, it's got most things. Now, with the other boxes, what I've tried to do, and as I said, you know, you don't really need to do a... Um, or have resupply boxes on, on the Bibbleman because there are the, the tracks. There's only really that big gap at the end, you know, between uh, between uh, Dwelling Up and, and Kalamunda, which is a bit of a bit of a challenge, you know, it would be a big carry. But yeah, the, there are towns where you can resupply so you can buy dehydrated meals. So you know, I meant to I meant to have my spreadsheet. I did a spreadsheet uh, to sort of um, plan everything out and part of that was a few columns for the resupply. So uh, I, I asked on the um, Bibbleman Track Facebook group about um, resupplying towns and that, and um, it looks like most of them you can get dehydrated food and snacks and things like that. However, there are things, and that's, that's really the story with, 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 with the uh, earlier boxes, that you just, in particular, you, you just can't 
get in town or you can get in town, but you know, it's not an ideal situation. So for example, things like toilet paper, you know, um, sure you can buy toilet paper, but usually it's in like a pack of, you know, six or whatever, you know, very few places seem to sell it as individual rolls. So, and the other thing is I use the paper, which is supposedly biodegradable. Um, so that's one of the things which you can get, but you know, you don't really need, you know, or you don't want to carry, you know, a whole bunch of toilet roll paper, uh, toilet rolls. So, and you certainly don't want to carry enough for the entire trip from the start. So to actually use resupply boxes and just put what you need in each one works, seems, seems to me to be a lot more sensible strategy. And the same with fuel. So I'm using methylated spirits. Now I did work it out. Um, if I was using a canister stove, I could have, um, like the canisters would pretty much work out using the really small canisters. They pretty much work out, um, you know, for each of my resupply boxes. Uh, so I could get a canister at each and um, it would, should carry me through. But uh, I actually prefer using the alcohol because I can, I can put exactly how much I need for each section. And uh, I know my alcohol stove is a lot more consistent in its fuel use than, uh, than a canister stove. So my little alcohol stove, it has a, I've actually got a video on it. So it's probably, the, probably better to watch the video. I did a couple of experiments uh, and to work out which was the best setup. And uh, I found that the, and, and I also did another, another one, which I haven't published yet, which looks at uh, comparing the, uh, comparing the alcohol stove, my best alcohol setup to a canister stove. And what I found was that, yes, the canister stoves do use um, less fuel in ideal conditions, but as soon as you start to get wind and things like that, um, the alcohol stove with a, with a cone around it is, is much more efficient and much more reliable. Okay, um, so and it's consistent. So you, you know roughly how much fuel you're gonna use each time, you know, and that, I think that consistency is important because then you can plan exactly the amount of fuel you need and just put in exactly how much fuel. And again, you could buy, you know, a liter of meths in each town, but you're not gonna need a liter of meths. I mean, I've got a liter of meths spread over the entire trip. So it would be wasteful. I, I hate wasting stuff. You know, it's the same with the canisters. You know, I, I, hate, I hate throwing out all the metal and that, you know, because at the end, First off, you've got to puncture the canisters when you finish with them, and then you've got to put them in the recycling. So it just seems like a waste to me. I'd rather try and just, just use exactly what I need. Anyway, I've probably gone on for enough. I'll just run through uh, what I've got here, and just to give you an idea, this is, as I said, the uh, Pemberton is kind of the midway point, so I've got my standard resupply, but I've also got some extra stuff that I've chucked in. Right, so let's go through it. So... We have the box, okay, so um, I've got uh, boxes for each of the resupplies, uh, except of course for my initial setup. Um, and um, these have got my name, uh, the town where I'm uh, collecting the, the resupply from, the approximate date that I'll be arriving there, and also my phone number. So uh, I can be contacted if there's, um, if there's a problem, if I'm running late or anything like that. Now inside the boxes I have a Nylaflume bag um, and that's really for odour protection to sort of keep, keep the odours down and hopefully that way the boxes won't be too attractive to rodents. Um, and um, also the other thing is what I'll do is I'll sort of cycle between these these bags as I go along. So the old bag that I've got my, my food in will become my uh, garbage bag and, uh, and so forth. Um, all right, so then I've got my maps. So I didn't see the point in carrying the maps for the entire distance. So there's my, um, there's my maps for the, for the next section. Uh, that's one of the standard things in each boxes. I've got my fuel and you can't really see here, but, but I've only got as much fuel as I need. Okay, so basically this is just to refill my, um, uh, my fuel bottle. Um, when I get to town. Uh, toilet paper. So I've got a couple of rolls. I could be getting a little bit paranoid there. I probably don't need two. But uh, anyway, these are a biodegradable one, apparently. And also they don't have any centerpiece, so they're nice and compact. Okay. I've got some Barocco, but that's, yeah, that's more of a bonus, bonus thing. I just wanted to have, um, 
I figured I'd be getting low on energy by, the, by that stage. Okay, some other standard things. Well, this probably won't apply to most people, but I've got, uh, I've got some medication. So I had a, a surgery on my wrist recently, so um, I'm still getting pain with it. So I've got some pain medication, some anti-inflammatories there. Uh, also in here, I've got some electrolytes. Okay, that's something that other people might might consider. I've got electrolyte tablets. Uh, they uh, you know, contain sodium and things like that, a salt rather, and things like that. Uh, I've also got some magnesium, as you can probably see by the label. That's just something I'm trying out at the moment. Um, been a bit low on magnesium. Okay, um, some other standard items. Uh, some uh, hand sanitizer. Okay, just enough for that, that section. Uh, in here, there's a couple of different things. I've got some earplugs. I've got uh, these light load towels, okay, or similar. The little white ones are the same kind of thing. Uh, they're just a disposable towelette, okay, so I can use them for personal hygiene and that sort of stuff. Then I've got replacement toothpaste tablets, okay. Um, so you just chew, chew on those and use them, just brush your teeth, okay. So... Again, you can just carry as much as you need for each section. I've got a, a few bonuses there, but I'm probably trying try and get into the habit of brushing my teeth in the morning if I can. Okay, um, so those are pretty much the standard things. The only other standard thing which um, is in all the other resupply boxes except for this one is this recovery mix. Okay, and this, this falls into the category of something, another thing which you just can't buy in the towns. Okay, I mean, this is, I have to order this specially in. It's a particular balance of protein, carbs, and electrolytes. Um, it's intended primarily to restore glycogen levels um, at the end of the day in your muscles. So uh, I'll be using this. It's also a source of calories. So I think it's about 250 or so calories um, per, per serve, uh, one serve a day. So calories and um, glycogen, yep. Yeah recovery mix um, so that's that's in most of my boxes except for this one because I've got some overlap okay and I should say other things like these these uh, you know these towels and uh, you know the tablets and all that sort of stuff you, you probably wouldn't be able to get those in towns so those are standard things uh, other standard things are um, breakfast mix so this is just like a paleo mix, so I'm trying to go for a particular balance of, uh, of proteins and fats and things like that, an optimum balance. Um, I don't know if I'm getting close, but I'm trying. I've got to go through and do the maths on some of this stuff, but this is what I'm trying for this trip anyway, and uh, it's just the one of these paleo mixes uh, with some um, milk added, so milk powder, okay? Um, then I have... Oh, a little bit of jerky. Then I have some of my high-fat, high-protein snacks, okay? And what I'm trying to do with some of this stuff, now, why am I including these? Well, I know where I can buy these. These come from, uh, from Woolworths, uh, and same with the dark chocolate, okay? Now, I'm pretty confident that I won't be able to get exactly this. I know you can get trail mix, and it should be fine, in most of the, most of the um, uh, shops and that in in, in the different re uh, towns, but uh, things like the ninety five percent cacao, it's it's it gives you a lot of fat, so therefore it's um, very calorie dense. Okay, um, versus maybe some of the other chocolates you get, which are more sort of sugar and that. So so what I'm trying to do is sort of get, um, you know, the most calories for the least weight ideally i mean that's not obviously there are other important things to consider you know in the food that you carry but uh, that's one of the things that i'm aiming for to try and reduce the weight as much as possible and get as many calories for as little um as little weight but also not to have too much sugar i mean you know most of this stuff that you buy like the bars and things are just full of sugar and i really want to avoid that i've also got these um another standard thing that i'm putting in is these little emergency rations. I've used these in the past, they're 1,200 calories. Um, and uh, they're, they're pretty good as well, you know, they're a fairly dense dense, so force, uh, dense source of calories. Now, in the last two supply boxes that I mentioned, uh, Dwelling Up and uh, the Brooker Highway, which is where my last supply box is, 
they're just packed with this sort of stuff because it's it's a big big section and i'm just trying to get the most calories for the least weight and the other thing is that that's towards the end of the hike that's when i'm going to be you know needing the most calories because you know early on i can lose weight you know i i it's not a problem you know i can i can sort of maybe use less optimum stuff but once i get to the end uh you know my body's going to be needing the calories and so you know rather than trying to carry a massive amount of food um this way i can you know sort of carry, carry the calories a little bit more efficiently so the other thing that i've got in some of the later resupply boxes is uh nut butter bars Okay, so again, trying to get as many calories into as as little weight as possible. Um, in all the boxes, I do also have some of these uh, backcountry cuisine. These are all available in the train trail town, so I could have skipped this, but I've just got so many of these things lying around. I just I've got to use them, uh, and a few of the Radix ones for a bit of variety as well. So I try and use the ones that I like of these, but you know I've got to use them up, so I haven't really got much choice. Okay, so those are the standard things that are in the resupply boxes. This particular box, because it's a big resupply, um, you know, it's a sort of midway point, I'm expecting things to start running out. So I've got some uh, body glide, okay, so a replacement body glide, because I'm expecting to be running out of that sort of stuff. Uh, I've got some um, dental floss, because I'm probably out of dental floss by that stage. I've got some uh, Dr. Brummer's. Um, soap you know for washing myself and also washing um, washing my clothes so I've got one of those in my my first you know my bag as I start and by this time hopefully I'll be starting to run out um, I've got a new toothbrush and I've got some more zinc okay although it's raining a bit I'm not sure how much zinc I'm going to need but anyway replacement zinc uh, some of the other things I've got in here which are sort of um, you know, one-offs just for the midpoint of the um, of the hike. I've got a spare pair of socks. Okay, so obviously I wouldn't have those in my other my other resupply boxes. I've got a um, a water bag, so just in case, because uh, the bags that I'm using on this trip are I've had for quite a long time, so they they might be starting to wear out by the time I get here. Obviously, I could use other water containers as well, but they're nice and compact. Uh, and I've got a a syringe just to clear out my filter, which is probably going to be getting a bit clogged. I do have a way of, of sort of back flushing it uh, at other times, but uh, anyway, I've got that in there. And just because I happen to have them with me, I, I carry spares anyway, but I've got some more of these O-rings for the um, for the soya, soya filters. Okay. So I think... I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's probably other stuff that I've put in other boxes for you know particular reasons. Like for example, I've got um, uh, one of my toes. You know, there's a chance I might get an infection. I was sort of saw my doctor part way through, and um, but if I get an infection, it'll probably be after the first couple of weeks. So the second resupply box has some um, antibiotics in it, um, just for if I do get get an infection by that stage. Um, what else? Oh, I've got some pain medication for my back uh, and neck, um, which you know I may or may not need to use. I'm I'm trying to keep the weight, as I say, as low as possible. Um, if I go above 12 kilos, that's when I'm going to start having problems with my back. Even 12 kilos is kind of pushing it a bit, you know, total weight. Um, so I'm carrying some pain medication just just in case I do have a flare up, either with my back or my neck. Um, I can take those for a couple of days and get it under control. Uh, that's all I can think of really um, you know I'm sure there's other things as I said these aren't complete I will have to add some stuff to each of these except for the last two um, so you know some more snacks during the day so don't don't think that those are all my snacks that's all I'm going to be eating there's, there's going to be other stuff added to that but what I as I say what I want, what I want, to, want to do is to try and you know cover myself as well as well as I can with all the things that are just either not going to be available in the trail towns uh, or you know um, maybe the alternatives are not really what I want you know so like I don't really want to use regular muesli bars because they're just full of sugar and yeah you know for the weight they're not really that many calories so you know I wanted to go for more optimum stuff and obviously the other thing is I'm, I'm gonna 
I'm going to be stopping, you know, for one one to two days in each of the towns as we go through. Um, and I'm going to take those opportunities to have some decent food, you know, some some nice fresh food um, and, uh, you know, try and, try and be a bit healthy for, uh, for, for that time anyway, compared to the stuff that I've got with me. Uh, but um, yeah, and I'll pick up any any extra stuff that I need for the for the next section in each of those towns. So particularly the the, the stuff during the day, any extra sort of uh, evening meals, you know, the dehydrated meals and that, all of that will be available in town. Um, okay, so I'll finish up there. I, I can't think of anything else to say. There's probably other questions people have. Just put them in the comments. It might be a while before I actually respond because I'll probably post this video before I get going. Uh, I've got one more video I'm hoping to make just to do a final check of my gear. Um, I want to have these for my own reference, you know, so I can use, you know, similar strategies in, in future or maybe, you know, look at my strategy and say, oh, you know, I really made a mistake here. I should have done this or I should have carried that or, or included this in the Dropbox that I'd forgotten. Um, but, you know, that's all, that's all for the future. Um, and yeah, this is just a learning process. So uh, as with everything else, I'm not putting myself out as an expert or anything, you know, I've, I've done, you know, some longer hikes, um, you know, and I've been successful with, with, you know, shorter food drops um, in, in shorter, in, you know, maybe a couple of weeks or whatever, but this is one of the, this is the biggest one I've done. So uh, I'm just keen to sort of, you know, get the information out there and, you know, feedback, comments, all welcome. Okay, so thanks everybody and I'll see you in the next video.